So these four pieces are all the pieces that are in the template that um, I gave to you guys. So this is how I would have cut it. This is gold, this is silver. And I would did a picture, but I didn't do it for this, but I would have made a picture here. So I would have had this glued to the top. And then the picture would have glued down in the center. And then you could have put um, your resin on it. Now, I did, oh, well, I had an extra piece for the back of it as well. So, if you wanted to layer it to give it some depth, then I have cut out the same shape as this. So, it would glue behind here. That's one. That's two. I think I did three. So, let's say I glued these three the same shape back there. That gives it a little depth. Then I glued that to this. As you see, it creates, if you can see in here, you see the little lip there that it creates in there. So if you wanted to glue the picture into there it will fit down it will you can see that that shadow part right there it will give you a little shadow and then you could just put the a resin down up in there as well but you see it sets up and then you would glue this to the top and then on the back I would have I just did three just so you could see three of those to the back And then take your last piece and glue it to the back. So then that would make your whole pendant. You can make this any kind of way you want. You didn't. You don't even have to use the the card thought. You could do it in print and cut. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all of that. But in between these three layers here, I'm going to put all that's going to be together. All that's going to be together. And then I'm going to glue three of these down. Well, I would probably use four of these, make four, but I only cut three of these layers to go in between. So I'll glue that down. And in here, I might would do a print and cut. And it says, um mom or whatever it would say or it could be a photo or whatever then i would put i cut some acetate which is clear clear acetate and then i would put it over here put the mom in here and put some glitter or some little tiny beads or um crystals or whatever and then i would UV resin, put some UV resin around this piece and just glue that down. Or I might would just do it so it didn't bulk up. I might would just um, put some Mod Podge and glue this down because it'll glue that down. Then I would take the other. Oh, I did that. I did four. I think I did four the other two and glue them to the top and glue that piece down then glue this piece down and then when you have your glitter or whatever in there you shake it and it would be like a little um, bubble or a glass cage or you know one of those little sand things so I'll be back to show you my finished piece I'm gonna do a quick run through of this um, charm. Okay, I'm just gonna start with gluing my pieces. I'm gonna glue these two first because I wanna um, put that clear piece in there. 
So I'm just putting some um, my Podge on here. That's all I'm doing. Just put the my Podge on there. And then I'll take the acetate and stick it down. It'll probably be a, get a little messy, but it's all right. I have my wipe here. I use a wipe sometimes to um, catch any overspill of this my Podge. sandwiched in between these two just take this push it down it's just a whip a wipe push it down then I'll take getting on that um plastic I'll clean that up I'm rushing through this. I would take my time and make sure everything is lined up. Looks pretty lined up, but I'm kind of rushing through, so. Try to make sure I can get the whole video, because I know my phone probably does not have enough space. to see what you all do. So now that piece is sandwiched in the middle. And I'll clean it up some more later. Then I'm gonna montage these pieces. don't use a lot it'll tack up pretty fast I like to, anything that come out on the edge though I like to wipe it into the edge into the edge back into the edge because that Mod Podge seals the edges but most of the time even after getting everything together i will go around and put resin on my edges as well too i just like because it's paper it's paper y'all i like it to be thoroughly sealed i'm gonna go ahead and add i meant to just do two of those because that's how i do mine i'm going to go ahead and add the back piece to this. So this is part of the base or what we would call the shadow. Don't worry about stuff getting on there. Cause you could put, um, you could spray that with the Rust-Oleum clear lacquer or any clear spray paint, paint, and get it 
because I know a lot of people struggle with getting smudges and stuff on this gold foil stuff. Just, I like to take a baby wipe, wipe it down as clear as it'll get. And then after it dries out, maybe rub it across um, a t-shirt piece, um, piece of cloth that's like, you know, t-shirt fabric. And, or if it doesn't get too clean, I'll just spray with my Rust-Oleum Clear Lacquer Spray. Then that'll clear it up. So, I, if you notice, I only did three of these layers, which I have four. I meant to just do two for that one because I want to take two of these, or I would take two of these and glue them to the other gold piece. But since I only did, I did three of those over there, I'm just, you have this one piece that I'm going to glue this other piece to. And I went on a road. I'm probably just going to give this to my mom since I'm just doing this as a tutorial. I just wrote Hunt in there on that. I just wrote her last name there. So now... So this would be the inside. So when that covers it, it'll say hunt. But I'm gonna put some some um, sand in between it, which I should have done that. I should have. This is what if, if you're gonna do it like this. I should have just glued. I might can pull it apart if it's still wet enough. Nope. Nope. I should have just glued the two up, two pieces up top, then glued the um, acetate paper down, and then glued this one one ring to this first. So I would have a have this one ring on here to lock it in place, like so. Since I already have it glued here, though, I got two under here and two up here, and then this um, acetate piece is in the middle. So if I had didn't glue it like that and just glued two up top and one to the back, then I would have an extra one that I could have glued here, which would have gave me a barrier. So when I poured the sand in, it would have locked it in place. Well, I'm still gonna make it work. I may just cut another piece. So anywho. This has one glue to it. This has three glue to it. So I like to leave them separate. I'm gonna build everything up on, on here. And so I'm gonna put resin on this and then seal it or um, cure it. And then I will put resin on all of this as well and cure it. So um, before I do that, let me pause this and I'll come back. Let me cut one more of these since I had already glued it down. Let me try to cut one more before I start piecing, build everything up on top of this. Okay, so we're back. I cut this one piece so we can fit it down. down there. Okay. I'm not gonna worry about spraying this right now. I'm just doing this so you can see. Let me get a piece of t-shirt. Okay. 
cousin just had a wedding and this was one of the favors i love this color so i'm gonna put this sand in here Has a little glitter mixed into it. Try to wipe it off from around here. Just wiping it off off camera is what I'm doing. Just getting it off of my surf the surface of that paper so when I glue the next one onto it. most of the sand will be off of the surface. Okay, that's that. So now here's my piece, my four piece, two pieces on one side, two pieces on the other side, and my clear um, piece in the middle. Now what I will do is take some alcohol and clean and clean the one side of the glass the um plastic piece that i will place down so I'm, that's all i'm doing that's what i'm doing off camera it's just putting alcohol on the plastic that's all that i'm doing off camera Okay, uh, that's that's pretty good. Again, I would I would make sure everything was nice and neat if it was for someone. If I was making it to sell, so I'm gonna go around here and be careful not to get any of this Mod Podge on the um, plastic. I didn't clean it super clean, but it's it's all right. So that's all I'm doing here. Just making sure I get an even amount, a, thin, a good amount on this. So we can get it glued down. That is it. Make sure it is pressed. I like to press because you squeeze out the excess um, glue and it helps it tack faster. And again, whatever comes out on the sides, I just rub it in. So now we've already got it. You see the, the um, Sand is sticking where it's still a little wet, but you get the concept. Of course, I will let it thoroughly dry. But now from here, we just build. Now goes on this piece. And the good, cool thing about this, even if after you get it how you want it, if you still want to add um, resin over this plastic piece, you can. It'll be cool. It's fine. But the UV resin, this, because we don't have it sealed on the inside of um, this top piece here, the, it may absorb the resin, so I don't know. We will see in a second. So I'm going this down. 
this piece down. Grab in any excess, ex excess. Well, I was about to say access. Grab it in it. Grab any excess in. Now we have the gold piece. put that down on here since it's opened and I'll just dab So now I'll allow this to dry and I'm not going to even try to clean this up right now. You see it's cloudy and whatever. I'm going to allow it to dry. I'll allow this to sit. It's pretty much done because this is your front piece and this is the back piece. So I, what I like to do is after it dries and I clean it up and it dries again, then I will put my resin on this side and this side and set them under my light to cure. And then once they cure, then I'll flip this over my podge and then stick this together stick them put my pies there my, and I'll I won't put any there I'll just put some on one side and then just stick them together and then I'll put a bell on it or I'll take my Dremel and drill a hole in it and put a keychain ring on or something I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but I'm gonna allow this to dry and we'll go from there See that um, sand is sticking in there. Well, I hope it doesn't stay stuck. That's because I put it together fast and then allow everything to dry. But I'll be back. Hey, y'all. So, this is my finished piece. See, I did the, the sand in here. So let's, um, I want to talk about it for a minute. I encourage everyone to post their projects, even if you mess up. We're human. It's okay to mess up. And in this group, if you mess up and someone comes bashing you, they will be banned. Because I don't believe in that. This is, I, as I said in the opening, when you first come in the group, if you've seen the a welcome letter. This is a teaching group, a learning group. We're all here to learn something from each other, to teach each other something. So nobody is here, nobody here is perfect, including me. And I did this and di I didn't put the resin on it intentionally because I did this with paper that I usually don't use because it this, let me show you the paper. If you want to do this, don't use this paper. Do not use this gold foil paper. Or paper that is like this. And especially if it's shiny on the back, like um, magazine paper or um flyer paper, whatever, whatever, if it's shiny and um, smooth like that, it's not just plain raw paper, do not use that type of foil. Here is why. It would have done the same. I only sprayed this with my Rust-Oleum, my uh, this here, the lacquer. Uh, I, so I didn't do the um, resin. I didn't want to waste my resin because one, this is just a teachable project. I've done the video 
the step-by-step -step video of how I did this. So I will be posting that as well. But um, I only sprayed it with lacquer and did not do the resin because you might can't see it here on the front, but anything, any, I, I don't know what's in this that reacts with this um, foil paper, but this foil paper is only, it's like alcohol ink. So anything that comes in contact with it, it makes it, I know you can see that, it makes the gold f um, melt off of that paper. So this is the back of that. And I know you can see all of that. So I was like, well, I won't put my um, resin on there to waste it. But it's this piece is still good is what I'm saying is I use this paper intentionally because I didn't want to use my other foil in, in case I get an order or whatever. Whatever is kind of low right now. And I didn't feel like running back out to the store. But I did did this to show you that even if you mess it's still okay but if it's for somebody do not use that use this if you just want to get into practicing or do projects and stuff until you can get the hang of stuff, get your pack of this it's 25 um pieces in this and you're just practicing that way you don't want to you won't mess up all your good material get something you can practice with until you can um get the hang of it and this is not perfect not only because of this but i at going along doing this project this was my first time doing this guys i did this um template for you guys to use but i have never done it either so i want you guys to understand that i i'm no better than you even though i created the template i'm no better than you because because i still had to do the project myself So, this is my first time ever doing a project with the sand stuff inside like that. That I just get an idea in my head and I go with it, whether I mess up or not. And I'll still show you guys. Even if I mess up, I tell you I mess up. So, don't feel like somebody here is better than you or any of that. You can do it. You just got to try it. Give it a try. You won't know what you can do until you try it. Just like this. I just had an idea in my head to do this. And I see my mistakes and I can go back and correct it um, as far as putting the sand in here or whatever. But this, I, I like this project and I think I'm going to do more of this, but I know what to do now. So let me show you. When I said acetate this is just a right on transparency and this this box is super super old this is a t-shirt paper on here but this box is super super old you can buy this at um staples office depot um i'm not sure if walmart has it but michael's has some um some film sheets or acetate sheets it's just thin plastic. These are like the um, projection right on. And as you see, this, this box is super old. Super, super old. So again, guys, if you mess up, it's okay. That's what this group is for. It's here. We're here to teach. We're here to learn. We're here to help, correct, whatever you need help correcting. And yeah, I'm happy even though this is like this. I'm still happy with it. I'm still happy with it because putting it together gives gives me an idea of what I can do next. What I can do and see like with this on the um, if you when when I post the video, you'll see that I put it between two. I think I'll move it closer to the top so I'll have more room in the bubble. So yeah, this is mine. I can't wait to see you all, what you all have done. Even if it's not finished, I'd still like to see it.